What I finally had to do to quit smoking weed. When I was stuck in the insidious cycle of weed addiction for longer than I'd like to admit to, it was decades, I hated myself. I treated myself worse than I would treat anybody else in the world. I didn't take care of myself. I was a doormat in relationships, all relationships. I ran from conflict. I ran from responsibility and I embraced victimization and it was slowly killing me. Weed addiction is a slow death. It's like locusts eating the time of your life away. What I finally had to do to quit smoking weed was to care enough about myself to quit, to finally see that I was worth enough to quit smoking weed, to change, to be uncomfortable, to basically start over in life. If you can relate, I want you to know that you can quit weed and that your life will get better if you quit weed. If you're willing to grow, if you're willing to be uncomfortable, if you're willing to care enough about yourself to take care of yourself, your life will improve dramatically. And if you can't do it today, I'm praying for you and I'm pulling for you. I just want you to know that it's better on the other side of weed addiction. Having escaped that insidious cycle of running from life in this counterfeit weed euphoria while the rest of my life just slid down. It was miserable and I'm not miserable today. So I want you to know that you can quit and life does get better and I'm pulling for you. Much love. If you found any value from this video, please subscribe. Peace.